Hey, welcome back to Retro Game Show, everybody. Oh, Jesse, what are you doing to me tonight? So we are remote recording, and we have about uh, f- like an hour left. Um, and it's it's a little tricky to play certain games over the web because Jesse's a um, pussy and he hates latency. Fuck you. He want okay. Let me let me let me put a little context to this. <laughs> we we were gonna play tricky. See, they're already back. Yeah. Um, we were gonna play Tricky Towers, and mm-hmm. for anyone who hasn't played that game, it's amazing. Um, it's kind of like Tetris meets. <sighs> it's Tetris and it's magic. Te- Tetris and magic, yeah. But anyway, um, timing, latency, all that kind of stuff is absolutely paramount, and um, I just want to play it in person, so it's nice and smooth. So we are going to cap off tonight by doing a fucking tier list. <laughs> so um, yeah, I mean, everyone knows how this game is played. Um, S is top. Question mark is we never we never had it. Um, F is the shit or is shit I should say. Um, and uh, yeah, we're doing a fucking fast food. What up? What up? Sorry, I was trying to get something working here and it, it was dead. I was gonna just do some funny sound bites, so it'll come later and y'all be very very happy when it does. Okay. Anyways, you off dipped with... the way the fuck out there. I, I know, now I, I can hear you. I, I pulled away from the mic, so it's it's fine. <laughs> um. I want to get rid of that thing. I'll just crop it. It's fine. There's there's a really annoying little, like video playing in the very top corner. I can just top, like, I can see it. Yeah, like, just, I, just just cut it out. But it's annoying. It's bugging my br- fine. Okay. Your ADD is freaking out about yeah, it. Yeah, because I see like <laughs> it's like it's like shocking. And it's like Disney, and then there's like action. But okay, Arby's. What do we think? Arby's is fucking F tier. You shut your fucking whore mouth. <laughs> oh my god, it already starts. Yes! Tell me more, tell me more, defend your position. Tell me more, did you have diarrhea? <laughs> no, I don't... Okay, hello everyone. You you all know out there that we reference our lovely, lovely friends on YouTube as the Game Grumps. And I don't know the hate of this restaurant by them and others, and yourself included. Like, maybe it's a Midwest thing. I don't know. I don't, I've never had a bad stomach ache from roast beef. Like uh-huh. we have the meats, you know. Um, but yeah, I don't know the hate of this restaurant. Like it's not F tier. Like so, so, so. Let me ask you this. Go ahead. If you had three choices, no, five choices. Okay, five. Arby's, uh, let's just say Carl's Jr., Burger King, Taco Bell. Ch- well, not Chipotle. But but okay. just let's just do those four. Those four. Would you choose Arby's out of those four? I would choose Arby's over Burger King. That's actually fair. But like, okay, but I don't think it's. But here's the problem. How are we gonna do this, Jesse? Real quick. Hi, mm-hmm. hi everyone. Like, if you say F and I say like B, like, are we gonna like settle on C or? Yeah, we just like... we find we find somewhere in the middle. So so, do would you like to hear my yeah Arby's rebuttal? Yeah yeah yeah, of course. It's the whole point of the show. It is as fast food as fast food sandwich shops can get. Mm-hmm. Because at least, I mean, like, here's the thing. Shit. Uh, what's up? Okay. I thought I, I honestly freaked out for two seconds and thought I didn't hit OBS. Go ahead. We're fine. Everything's good. Okay. Please continue. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, <clears throat> Arby's is like at least Togo's and Subway have like a little bit of like variety when it comes to like vegetables and bread and sauce oh, yeah. and sauces oh, yeah. and things like that. Arby's is literally a company that said we can take bread and meat and some sugary ass barbecue sauce and mm. call it food mm. and sell it as a fucking quote unquote like hamburger like sandwich. Yeah man and they fucking capitalize on that shit like we would Nobody go to Arby's. Nobody wants to eat three inches thick of <sighs> roast beef. Please, Daddy. Yes, I do. I'm putting in the C tier. Ooh, okay. All right. I love it. And that's all that needs to be said. This is a good tier list. I like Arby's because <laughs> we would. That was like our Friday night. Like we'd go out to get Arby's, and it was like our thing. Really? Yeah, man. I don't. Again, I. Don't How old know, were you? Uh, I was in Minnesota, so I was probably. This is before I knew. Middle before you knew me. Middle school, high school. Like, yeah, middle school, high school era. Okay. Right, I, just, right, I just right. don't know the hate. It's just roast beef, and yeah, I'd get curly fries and hella fucking ketchup. Oh, so good. Anyways, yeah. Jack in the Box. It's carbs and meat. Yeah, so, all right. Jack in the Box. So, uh, Jack in the Box. This is actually one of the ones I have, like, the least, like, exposure to. But the one Ooh. thing I will say about Ooh. Jack in the Box mm-hmm. being the <laughs> jack of all trades on, like, a drunk 1 a.m. night. 
Um, fucking hundred percent. The mini is tacos. they have so many fucking things you can get. And they do you can breakfast get burgers, all day. You can get tacos. You can get ice cream. You can get fucking anything. Breakfast. You can get breakfast all day, Could bro. You really? Could you really yeah. get breakfast? Uh mm-hmm. huh. You know, I'm gonna. Uh, Their breakfast is bomb as fuck. Holy shit! It's my drunk but, hang. It's my drunk hangover food. I'm driving home from the Bay Area. Is like, it really? <laughs> hell yeah! There's like I a would double. Be, pr- Go ahead. I would be willing to put that in B. Oh, it's S tier, bro. Their meat is so delicious. Like I will settle on A. <sighs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> she can Jack can go. But I just had Jack in the box today. So <laughs> the day okay, I okay, to be fair for Chris, because he may have more of a more of an like a current view. The last time I had Jack in the Box was probably like five years ago. Oh well, I mean I've I don't know. And they don't have them in the Midwest. I only first experienced them out here. But mm. fucking delicious. Like I don't know what it is. Like if I could choose and I do often choose because I work in Woodland and, you know, my top three, like that interchange every now and again are like Carlos Jr. in and out and like Jack in the Box. And they're really hard to like nail down to each because they each have strengths and weaknesses. So, but with that said, yeah, I would think in and out would be on top of that. Like nobody's that, business. Yeah, okay. We'll get to that. We'll, it's, we'll get to okay, that. Okay. So, okay. Okay. And, and W. <laughs> I'm, see, for me, this is like F because I fucking got stomach flu from them. I and will I, easily put it in D okay, um, or F get the because fuck out of here. Yeah. the only time I've ever seen or consumed A and W food mm-hmm. was at Sunrise Mall. Oh God! And and you know what I mean, like mall food, especially mall food from like the nineties. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like that's that's not really food. That that's like no, that's but... like that's like seventh grade. Um, hot no, not not hot lunch. What was the fucking snack bar food? Oh sure, and like. God, um, if we can talk about mall food, I don't see it on here. I'm kind of sad unless it's you know below the screen. I can't see it. My favorite mall food is Sabaros. That pizza is fucking oh, dope. Dude, I'm right there with you. The single big ass slice to yeah. go and it's super satisfying. So fucking it's, good. I'm right there. Okay. Okay. So Auntie Anne's. Uh, zero opinion. It's just pretzels. They're good, but like I have, I'm, I would put it in question mark. Like I don't care. Have you good. ever been to an Auntie Anne's? Yeah, like I've had it's a pretzel. Like, I don't know. But how kick ass is that pretzel? I mean, sure, but it's like your it's like your Arby's thing. It's a one it's like the, is there one trick? Okay, you know what? For for lack of variety, I will absolutely give it to you. Which um, what what grade? Uh what did you put it as? Question mark? Yeah, just because I don't have an opinion, but if you want to bump it to like for, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, what do you think? I, I would say for variety, it would have been a C, but I would say the quality of what they do well, which is a fucking soft ass little pretzel, um, <laughs> it's B? an A. Oh, wow. First A. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it was second B, a. It's, it's cheating because it's a one trick pony, but sure. they but it's do good. that trick so goddamn good. Sounds good. Um, this is definitely more of a Midwest thing, and I'm sure you didn't go to many uh, Sizzler slash Boston markets, but what do you think of Boston market? So it is. I love that you brought up Sizzler because I've Sizzler. never been. Well, I think I've been to a Boston market like twice, yeah, but exactly. I've been to Sizzler a fuck ton of times. They're kind of the same. So what do you think then? If you so, if, you put- if that was like a, um, did you go to church on Sundays? No, but I know what you mean. <laughs> okay, so like, so you know yeah, exactly. You you do church with the fam, and, you and then Sizzler. you go get lunch, <laughs> and um and and the lunch was usually big. Mm-hmm. It was always a buffet for some fucking reason, and then you would go home super fat, lethargic, and then yep. mom and dad would be able to relax while the kids like fucking fell asleep at like seven. Oh yeah, like the two dollar steak. It's like oh, it's, dude. It's, it's it scares you, but it's so good. I can't explain oh, d- it. Back when we were kids, we didn't give a shit. No. So what do you um, think? So Sizzler, I, I'm sorry, I'm not done. <laughs> oh Sizzler, shit! Come on, bro. I'm kidding. Sizzler, like they have, and and again, this was in their prime. This was in like 1996, 1997. If y'all weren't born in, in the 90s, or like like if you were born in the 90s, you don't you don't know what you're talking about. Sizzler sucks do, do, now. Do, do, I get that. Yeah, it does. Suck I'm now, sorry. Man. I'm sorry. I'm almost ready. No, no, but you're fine. <laughs> they had, they had salad and cheese bread and macaroni and cheese mm-hmm. and uh, pasta salad and ice cream and froyo and fucking anything you wanted. Like there was so much you could choose from. It was so exciting as a kid because you're like, man, I got this one big plate. 
and I can just put whatever the fuck I want on it. And when I get done, I can go get another one. And then that, I scream. That um, was so the me, appeal. Yeah, what do you think? What's up? That is the appeal. Like, how many plates? Yeah. But what, yeah, what and the think? food was halfway decent. Again, I was a kid. So I'm actually going to put that at S tier. What? Okay. You're, 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 you're drawing For from the this experience. That, that's fine. That's fine. No, nostalgic factor. Okay. I totally get it. <laughs> I will, I'll let that one slide. Okay, for sure. You just get one tonight, Jesse. One slide. Well, I mean, we can always rearrange, but... I know. All right, Burger King. Ugh, disgusting. Um, yes. Not gonna lie. It was one of the few... Again, Midwest growing up. It was one of the few places... Like, yeah, there was a McDonald's nearby, but not as near as a Burger King. Like, the closest fast food to us was a, a DQ... Oh shit! Hey God, Dairy Queen's not <laughs> bad. God, excuse me. Sorry. So like when I was growing up in Minnesota, the place to hang out, and we'll get to this later, it was the DQ. It was the closest fast food to our house. Mm -hmm. The second closest was Burger King, so it was often the place we would go to if it was like we're trying to get somewhere, or it's like I had a doctor's appointment, which I had a lot of doctor's appointment in like seventh and eighth grade. So my mom oh, always shit. took my mom always took me to Burger King, and. Um, I don't, I rarely see them in fucking California, but like near my current place where I deliver, there is one and God, it smells good. Like I've never been in one in a while, but it smells like, um, uh, what, what's the place that sells the char burgers? Um, oh, um, help me out here. Oh fuck. There's one in Granite Bay. Yes. Um, ha habit burger habit yeah fuck okay it. so it smells like habit i'm like fuck i almost want like i was like curious like to go get a whopper i'm like no chris you're gonna hate it so <laughs> so you you say trash so we're we talking D so so F? actually uh, see now i have to do a tiny revision to that okay because of that smoky smell you're talking about mm -hmm. that you can smell outside of the fucking restaurant yeah it's like yes it's you smell and you're like ooh, that's some red meat cooking like mm -hmm. I, I could get down on that and, and you just made me realize, and I'm sure that Carl's Jr. is going to show up here at some point. Yeah, it is. Um, the only thing I remember from Burger King slash Carl's Jr. is that when you got a burger, like a Whopper, especially as a kid, it was fucking huge. Yes. It was Compl fucking huge. And for some reason, it had a lot of mayonnaise on it. Ugh. Fuck like man. a lot. But you're right. It was weird. A Whopper um, compared to a Big Mac, like McDonald's has fooled us all for centuries of like, this is a big burger and you tear it apart. It's like the stringiest, thinnest piece of fucking meat you could well, yeah, ever. Yeah, because they shove head. another piece of bread in between to make it look bigger. That's what I'm saying. So, what do you th so what's your revision on Burger King? C, B, I'm going to give it a C. C? Okay. I can, you know what? It can hang with Arby's. I totally agree. <laughs> um, checkers, never been, so question mark. I've How about never you? been. No, I don't even know what the fuck that is. I couldn't even tell you what food that Crazy is. Crazy good food, though. Um, I would like to put Chick-fil-A and F because fuck them and their stance on the LGBTQ community, even though the chicken is good. Um, I, I'm going to absolutely align with you, F. Yeah, fuck them. Yep. Fuck them. We're going to get hard. some hate for that. Ooh, no. Boy. I don't care. Like, you can't say the food's good when you're racist as shit. Or, you yep. know. Okay. Yep. That's it. That's We're fine. We're going to get that. That's good. Uh, Chapoodle. That's a huge. Why'd they make Chapoodle so fucking big? I was going to we... say, that's a enormous that's fucking unnecessary. logo. unnecessary. I think we picked a weird one, but this, it'll still work. So, Chipotle. Uh, funny. I'm sorry. I'm almost ready to answer. It's almost biased. Like, look at how big that yeah. fucking I'm Chipotle. Is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm going to put that at a solid A. Um, you know, we'll go with it. Even though the 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 fucking burritos are like the, a baby size burrito, like, it's it's, like it's a small it's child like stuffing a small. <laughs> like, it's a small. It's like a small child. <laughs> it's <sighs> it's a it's a pillow of beet. It's oh, thank you. That's a good. That's a good word. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I saw that from Dan. Danny. It's okay. It's it um, literally is like this. It's like yeah, it's huge, and I love but it. But the reason I'll say that, and it's short. It's not S tier because whatever you get from there will absolutely be fucking scrumptious and you will love mm -hmm. the shit out of it. And, mm -hmm. and you'll have fucking leftovers unless you are a hungry motherfucker. Um, yeah. But it'll never absolutely floor you. So it's an A, but it's also not a B because just everything inside of it is so good. Like the rice, the, the yeah. pico de gallo is always fresh. The tortillas are fucking cooked, like right in front, or not cooked, but like warmed up right in front of you. Yeah. The fucking carne asada doesn't matter. Carnitas, whatever you put inside. And then you get chips and shit on the side. And ah, dude, it's, so it's an A. Absolutely. But it, 
like you said, though, it'll it'll never beat the mom and pop shop though down the corner because no. that's just this better Mexican food. Like it, Chipotle is, you know, it's it's the like it's the bougie food. Like, oh, you want Chipotle? Like near my mom's house in Rockland, there's um, it's called Don Quixote's. And that place is fucking delicious. Dude, I was literally about to say that. I fucking just moved on Park and Sunset, dude. I just discovered that place. It's the shit. Yeah, Don Quixote is fucking delicious, dude. So anyways, Chipotle is good, but like, yeah, it'll never like be that S tier. So yeah, Cinnabon. Okay. Uh, again, weird mall food. Um, or, or, I don't or, even know if they have airport. anything. What's up? Or, or airport food. Yeah, like like the whatever the, like the the micro yeah. you know yeah. the ones are. Um, the thing is, again, I, I I don't know anything else that they sell except for a cinnabon. Do you and like it though? What they absolutely crush is making a cinnabon. Dude, um, dude, that was like, like a I would treat. never eat one because I would have like a sugar coma. Mm-hmm. But do they rule? Yeah, fuck B-tier. yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, they rule as shit. You can, that's the first thing you smell when you go in the mall. Is like, <gasps> where's the it's cinnamon? It's true. You smell the sugar and the cinnamon in the air, oh, and you're like, oh, that, I'm that at van- the mall. That vanilla like icing. Mm, so wait, you said B or A? Uh, a A A. I would put it A. Okay, I think A. I think A as well. Yeah, because if you get like a super, super gooey. Mm. Oh, stop! Now I want one. <laughs> See, it's yeah, just... dude, I'm ready to go back to work in two days. Right. Might go okay. get one. How about Jimmy John's? It's a question mark. Never for even me. been. All right, cool. That's a fast one. Get Did out you say of the here. same thing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now I can talk about. So okay, you talk about DQ first because I have quite a few things to say. I, absolutely, and I, I have only medium things to say. Um, okay. Dairy Queen to me was um, uh, just like Wendy's. They had good burgers, but they also were known for like their. Okay. Uh, shakes or oh, no, no mm-hmm. I'm sorry yeah no, 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 yeah, yeah like ice, the ice cream. cream shakes yeah um I can't really pinpoint down anything better or worse than a B um but yeah that's my extent of DQ I think I'm gonna pull a Boston market on you because um for me especially in the Midwest and it was like the closest thing to our high school at the time it was like the hangout like everybody was there like had a drive through it was this little hut of a place i wonder if it's still there i really do it was this like you know it was clearly built in the 80s that kind of look of you know interior diner and like all your high school friends would work there at one point it was basically like god what was that fucking film lucas did with the hot rods um uh something america i swear it was like something america i'm I'm, I'm gonna google my phone real quick anyways yeah i would be able to tell you uh, uh, George Lucas movies, but anyways, all I'm trying to say is it was, it's so nostalgic because like that was like growing up in the Midwest for me at least is going to the Dairy Queen, especially during the summer. Like everyone went there to get like you know ice cream. It's fucking hot out. Yeah. Um, but it was just, just dude, I don't know, it's a time capsule for me. Tiny side note, and I I just have to put this in here because there's only a handful of people that know that what the fuck I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, my cousin Joe included because he American we, Graffiti. We, sorry, I interrupt you. Go with your cousin. Graffiti. Oh, oh, that's the movie. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. Continue, please. Um, <clears throat> we went to the uh, East Coast together to go um, hang out at my Uncle Mark's house in New Jersey. Yeah. Um, for like two weeks. It was like this long ass summer vacation thing. I got to visit the East Coast. He lives like fucking two miles. All right, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like two blocks away from the ocean. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was amazing. So imagine like that that quintessential like beach town like 1999 fucking you know um, uh, well maybe 1999 I'm sorry I was thinking more like music like like you know it's just got like that nice kind of ska beat everyone's like a surfer bum and everyone's hanging out because the beach is super close so you just right. got chicks walking around in, like bikinis and stuff and you're like oh my god um, but anyway there was this one place called the lighthouse. And it was just, it was not ice cream and it was not, um, it, it was Italian ice. Oh, Have you yeah. Ever had okay. that? Yeah, yeah, shaved ice. Yeah. And, and so basically, like, with, with the juice this, place, on it. this place was popping because it was literally just a hut. There, there's mm-hmm. probably enough room for like seven people tops inside of this little, like, blue hut. And, but it had like a hundred parking spots. Jesus. 
because it was just this tiny little hut in the middle of a giant parking lot next to the ocean so in the summer. <laughs> and so there would be like 60 cars inside Dang. of this parking lot and everyone's just eating shaved ice because they so all wait, just got off the off the beach it's kind of like what's that coffee place that we all like to go to it's like always a hut in the parking lot what's those you you go there what's it called or are you talking about um oh shit what the fuck i've only been there like twice the 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 the, the little hut um coffee shop we're terrible it's <laughs> jesus it's um dutch bros Dutch Bros. So it's like a, it looked like a Dutch Bros, like a little hut with like hundreds. Try Dutch Bros, but with like again a yeah. hundred parking spots. <laughs> Neat. Well, that's cute. Yeah. So anyway, that 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 just like shook loose a, a, a memory. Yeah, I appreciate right. that. DQ is just like it's such like I we'd ride our bikes there. Like I remember one time I, I went there with like my friend Ryan and uh, Kim, and I had like a fat stack of cash from like my lawn mowing days, and my friends like don't flash that in here. I'm like. No one's gonna mug me in fucking Minnesota. Like I'm gonna pay for your <laughs> lunch. But like I had like a bunch of, like a bunch of twenties from like all my lawn mowing. Anyways, DQ is very nostalgic. I've, I haven't been cool. to one in God probably twenty years, but I would like to give it a shot again. But okay, let's go on to Duncan. Uh, Dunkin Donuts. Duncan. Uh, I think I've had a donut once in my life. Because they do. Are they? The, oh, I'm thinking of. Oh, I'm thinking of. Um. They have the same color scheme as the ice cream place. What's it called? Uh, oh. Thousand flavors or hundred flavors? What's it called? Oh god, god that's the nineties fucking place. I've heard about the fucking worst. Something hundred flavors. It's yeah. well, anyway, we're making ourselves look like idiots, but let's keep going. <laughs> so, Duncan, I, I would say, I, I, I honestly, question mark. I don't know. I haven't gone. I am determined. Apparently, the world does not work or run on Duncan in my world. <laughs> oh, you just... I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm never going to find I'm going it. after the brand, baby. You're going after the brand. God, why can't I find... The... Anyway, oh, wait, wait. Not Ben and Jerry's. Fuck it. We're moving on. So, Duncan Donuts is going to go and, like, see. I don't know much okay, about it. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, Elevation Burgers, question mark? Never heard of it. Bam, get out of here. Probably, like, in Colorado or something. El Pollo Loco. I would say B. Uh, yeah, no, it's, that's it's good. Yeah, you absolutely just incredibly good fucking shredded chicken. Mm -hmm. What more? What more needs to be said? Five guys. I have been there twice, and both times two things happened. Uh oh, diarrhea. The no, 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 no. <laughs> the burger was above par. Like mm -hmm. in like damn, like hella yeah. good burger. But I also remember feeling like I spent twenty two dollars on a single item. Oh my fucking god, right, dude? Oh, Baskin yeah, Robbins. I, but yeah, wait, way Baskin overpriced. What, what, is the oh. is this is the same color scheme as the Dunkin' Donuts, the pink and the orange? Oh, is Baskin oh, Baskin Robbins? Yeah, the hundred yeah. flavors. That's it. Boom, done. But dude, nice. but no, Five Guys, way overpriced. I hundred percent agree. Like In and Out, like nine bucks, you're out of there with a decent burger. Five Guys, you're like twenty five oh three for no, your yeah. Excuse like, me. Like, <laughs> and in and out like you can get that and fries and you're still under 10 bucks right and, yes. And, yes and and then i go to this place and the burger is again in like the solid a tier like it, it, it was 100%. damn good 100 but i just felt like remembering it was not worth it like under 20 dollars yeah or, i mean it, like, it, like, like it was no, I know what like you somewhere mean. Somewhere in the seventeen dollar range, and I'm like, what? yes, it's it's insanity. Like, I know food prices have gone up in the past few years, but even like for the time, like if I was comparing, you know, Five Guys to In and Out at the same year, Five Guys was like easily eight dollars more than the In and Out burger, and it didn't even taste like it was. Warm. Like, why is this so expensive? Yeah, yeah. So what? When that was, when that Habit Burger um, came <clears throat> in Grand Bay, mm, um, yeah. That dude, uh, that is that on this list? If it's not, well, then I'm just going to make a controversy right now. Okay. I actually think the habit's better than In and Out. I'll go with that. Okay. Cool. Uh, All so right, let's keep going. Five guys like what? B A? Because the food's um, good. It's it's good, but it's overpriced. So B. All right. Sounds good. And now this is the Carl's the Hardee's and the Carl's Jr. the same thing. So Carl's so Jr. Funny. Why is it I, is I Hardee's like East Coast or something? Yeah, because we had Hardee's in the Midwest, and I came out here I'm like, huh, that's the same yellow star, and it was Carl's Jr. I don't know why the fucking difference yeah, is. Interesting. But. Um, Carl's Jr. I have a lot of solid memories with Carl's Jr. Okay. Um, 
however it never like blew my mind um mm -hmm. a okay um uh, yeah i sorry i was looking something up um i agree a the solid food like i like their burgers are really hearty which is kind of what i rate burgers on that's why mcdonald's yeah, is gonna exactly go. it's, it's their main attraction like McDonald's is gonna be is gonna be like a wild card for me because obviously it's not hearty but it hits that spot, dude. Like I yeah. can't explain it because we're well, so like ingrained with like, all that fucking MSG. It's the one like, thing I will say though yeah, is that uh, Carl's Jr.'s nuggets sucked ass. Mm, never had them. They they literally look like stars. They they were just frozen fucking cardboard pieces. That oh shit! Really? Bag. That's yeah. funny. Oh, I yeah. feel bad. But like, yeah, for me, like. It, like I want a hearty burger, and like obviously McDonald's is just like smushed to shit. But it's like it hit. Well, I'll talk. I'm I'm talking way ahead right now. <laughs> this, right this now. actually this was a good. I'm I'm glad that tier list maker fucking recommended this way up top because this is actually fun. <laughs> okay, In and Out, good old California. I'll let you go first. Well, they finally went east. If you heard uh, recently, did you hear about this? No, tell me. I say okay now this is all hearsay this is what i heard like when i first moved to california like it was only on the west coast and it still is except for one in idaho and i'll get to that in a second um apparently now this is all just i haven't googled this you guys can look it up yourselves if it's true or not the ceo the son and like the grandpa or like the three like main heads of the company were like flying out to like i don't know colorado or somewhere in the midwest like to expand it and their jet crashed and they saw it as a sign from God not to expand it, which is why there's all those biblical verses on the cups and stuff. Wait, wait, wait. Like that happened way early in their career or was this more recent? Well, before I moved to California, because that's when I heard the story. Okay, okay. That actually makes sense. Because so that, 2002. That really kind of but recently, I've, I think it was like a month or two ago, I forget. They opened one in Idaho, the first one ever, in and out in Idaho. People were in line for eight hours to get their food. They missed work to try in and out for the first time. Are you fucking kidding me? You, you gotta be pretty bored if that's the most oh, exciting man. fucking thing. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but Look then on, again, and, yeah, and we're gonna get to it when mm -hmm. fucking Krispy Kreme to, or Krispy Kreme came to Citrus Heights, which was like mm -hmm. one, one of the first places next to. Um, um, Sunrise Mall. Um, right, yeah. It was like a fucking phenomenon. Like, like people were like lined up around the fucking block for donuts. And I get <laughs> it, but like, it's the same like fear of missing out. Like, like you're just like, oh my god, like this is the first week and it's open. We got to go be part of the stupid. Fray. Where, where were you when Krispy Kreme came to such heights? <laughs> anyway, so where do you think it lands? A S what? What do you think? Um. Oh, so so my pitch on In and Out mm. is um, they know their store type demographic <clears throat> worker mm -hmm, like they mm -hmm. have it so buttoned up that their their stores are identical yep and that's for a fucking reason because like they have absolutely min maxed the um potato slash burger slash bun slash people yeah. paying yeah, blah 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 it's, it's and then people science. being able to sit in the lobby i love it um and on top of that the food is absolutely goddamn s tier absolutely everything about it it's so simple it's just do, 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 it's do, do, the first the shakes it's the, it's, yeah so it's s tier it's up there all righty i'm cool with that i don't have a lot of stories i eat it a lot it's very tasty like for me like my top three are already up there it's jack carl's in and out so that that fits perfectly what yeah. do you think about jersey mike never been been once it's okay gonna put in question mark not enough data yep. boom kfc you go first. Ooh. Um, another Midwest thing we didn't get very often. It's good. It was always dry and like it never tasted like, for example, if your like, chicken like, bucket was dry, your fucking KFC sucked ass. They were doing well, they were doing the wrong thing with the only fucking product they need. I know. Right. For like, for if I can compare it to like Wingstop and stuff, like KFC never like hit that spot. Like, oh, I like chicken. No. But no matter, KFC was also around way earlier than Wingstop and like Buffalo Wild Oh, I, no, I know. I'm just saying like when we would get like buckets of chicken, like my yeah. mom, obviously my mom made better chicken than fucking KFC. It's fast food. No shit. But what I'm <laughs> saying is like when you go to a place and you want something to eat that's like good, it just never was good in my yeah. opinion. Like, I don't know. Like I'd put it in like with D. That's kind of I, I my... feel like KFC and Sizzler have similar backstories. 
Oh, for um, you? Because KFC in the early 90s, at least in mm-hmm. California, ruled. It was really fucking good. In fact, it was like a, it was like a, it was it was a peg ahead Dang. of most other fast foods, um, because it was like usually nice inside, but just like Sizzler, you know, food cost just the way the world ate in general in fast food settings. Like again, Sizzler and that kind of sit down restaurant was like kind of a '90s thing. But weirdly yeah. enough, sorry, I'm rambling. No, um, KFC used to be hella good. And like the chicken, like if you got like a 20 piece fucking chicken for like the family, it was like a big ass Friday night, but you didn't get pizza. You got like chicken. Everyone's just chilling around the TV. You just keep going up for drumsticks. Like it was like a thing. And and it used to be really good food quality. So the bucket of chicken sounds so fucking American was um, it was the shit, man. Like cost effective wise, it like fed the whole fucking family. So where do you put it? Um, A. Ooh, you're putting it with Chipotle? I am. Uh, it's wow. it's not as good now. Okay. And they've tried to stay innovative, but if you still got the 20-piece fucking bucket to go, I still All think right. it's a good value. All right. I disagree, but I'm not going to not going <laughs> to shit on your nostalgic factor, so I'm going to leave it where it is. Krispy Kreme. Do you want to do you want to next time this into two? Let me alt tab real quick. What are we at with my uh or just do a big ass episode. No, the I mean, <laughs> hello viewers. Our attention <laughs> sucks, anyways. So we we can cap no, it. No, let's here. just keep going, dude. Let's just keep going. No, because then the upload is long and the export is long. So let's do thirties. That's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Do you want to do you want to cap or like um? Okay. All right, oh, wait, everyone. Hang on, hang, hang, on so- hang on, hang on. My screen's recording the wrong thing. Okay, go. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, we had we had a little bit of tech talk there. Um, we are going to cap this episode, and we're going to do a two-parter with this because this weirdly got kind of involved. Um, if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody. I will see you soon.